Okay, so this is a live video and I'm ready to begin. If you are a childcare provider and you are exhausted because you do everything, you cook, you watch the kids, you do the billing, you do uh, all the assessments, you are exhausted and you need a vacation and you want to find the right employee, the right people who can help you, the right daycare assistant, however you want to call. You are looking for one, but you don't know how to find her or how to find him. In this video, I'm going to give you three different tips for you to find the right childcare assistant for you, uh, for your childcare. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be connecting. I'm going to be sharing my uh, screen and keep in mind that this is a live video. So there is like a few uh, seconds that you guys might not hear something because of the connection. But if you lose any at any moment, you cannot hear me anymore. This is what you should do. Just grab your phone, close the app and then reopen again. That's the way how you can hear me. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing my screen. And there is many things that can happen when I'm doing a live video. Sometimes the sound, sometimes the video, there is so many connections. Also, YouTube has some problems and Zoom. So there is a lot of things going on around this live video. But one of the reasons why I do live videos is because I love sharing what I go through with my regular life every day. As many of you guys know, I'm a owner of a childcare and my, my childcare, the name is Bilingual Learning Center. And we are located in the city of Palmdale, California. I do every uh, every week, I do educational videos for providers who wants to improve their business. And I love sharing my experience in, in, the, in the childcare industry. It, it's a beautiful thing that I can do as a mom. I'm able to work, I'm able to see my kids grow. I can take my daughter to school, I can pick her up. So we have so many benefits and I always like sharing all the experience with all of you. But one of the biggest requests that every single time I do a consultation with other providers or something like that, they always ask me, how do I choose a good daycare assistant? That's one of the biggest questions. So today I'm going to be sharing that information with you. I also put here, taking our childcare to the next level. When you choose a childcare uh, assistant, you're gonna make a difference in your, um, your childcare. Why? Because now you have an extra help. Now you can focus in something extra more and that is gonna take you to the next level. So I hope everybody is able to see my screen. And if you cannot see my screen, let me know because I'm sharing at this moment and I just want to have an idea if you guys can see my screen. Okay, no, I don't think nobody can see the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna share it again. And let's give a few seconds. Okay, how about now? How is everybody doing? It's Thursday. Today was a really long day for me. I was planning to do this video earlier, but um, we couldn't do it. So but I'm really happy to be here to talk about how to choose your the best childcare assistant. Everybody needs help. In order for you to take your childcare to the next level, you need help. It's really important. You can probably get sick or take a vacation. You need somebody who you can trust. And many providers are always so exhausted. Every time they talk to me, they are exhausted. They are after a long day. And I always ask them, find help, train those people. 
And if you guys don't know how to train you, your daycare assistant, now you have me. That's why if you like this kind of video, I recommend you to, to subscribe and like this video. So if I know that you really like this kind of topic, I'm going to be making more videos about just talking about a daycare assistant. So now let's go here. Okay, I have here one of the reasons why it's so important. And many, many daycare providers like Amber, they always tell me, uh, I hear Amber the same thing. There's a lot of big problem trying to find the right people. And who is the right people? Today, I'm gonna give you three advices that you should take in consideration. Believe me, it's gonna help you. Choosing the right employees for your child can will determine the success of your business. Why I say that? Because two months ago, I got super sick. I had, um, I didn't have COVID, but I had bronchitis and then asthma and then something else. It, it was, I wasn't getting better. So if you guys saw me in many of my live videos, sometimes I couldn't talk. Uh, and sometimes it's happened, still it's happening. My uh, lungs are still very weak and having my, my employees really helped me to continue working because without them, I won't be able to do it. I needed the extra help. And you have to put yourself in a position and say, you know what, it's important to get help. The most important is also to train them. So now here in the big letter and in red, I put representation. Why I put that word there? You want to choose somebody who represents you. That's, this person is going to greet the same way how you greet to your clients. She's going to respond the same way. Why? Because any little mistake that your employee do, the person who is going to be responsible is going to be you, not her or not him. It's going to be your, you, just you. So any little thing that you teach your employee, it has to be in your way, your way, not her way or his way. Why? Because you want to make sure that whoever is representing you knows about your missions. She knows about what you want for your childcare and how your whole childcare should run. So if you ever step out, this person is representing you. So you want somebody who has the same value than you, who has the same goals than you. This is gonna be a different person and yet probably it's gonna be some variation, but it's okay. If you train this person the right way, and if you don't know how to train your employees, now you have me. This is a service that we offer. And we have helped many childcare providers who were desperate to find the right employee. But right now, this video is going to give you all the tools that you need to find the right assistant. Okay. So now, as you guys know, children, they, they get used to somebody. They, they also they build a relationship. They also build a routine. So when you're gonna hire somebody, make sure this person is dedicated to the job 100%. Each of my employees, they know that they have to give 100% and plus. That's how I think, that's how I do it. That's how I put 100% of myself to this business. So the person that I'm looking to hire, that I'm, I'm gonna be paying, it has to be in the same level or way more than me, why? because it should be important the same, the same way how it's important to me, it should be important also to her, if she really likes this job. Okay, so now choosing today the right employee it can be super, super challenging. And I agree with Amber, I agree with Kay, Jess, I agree with all of you guys, because um, I was trying to find for many years the right one, but I was super, super lucky because of these three things I'm gonna share with you. So let's go to the first one. So here are the three solutions for you. I'm gonna show you how to find the right daycare assistant, how to interview to get the best applicants, and also how to choose the right assistant because there is a, a process that goes with that. And just for you guys to know this, video is dedicated not to only the child care provider this is also dedicated to all the employees i had for the past 10 years 
they were not too many, but they were the best. Here are pictures of Miss Sarah and Miss Ashley, who I worked with them for many, many years. They are like my daughters until today. I still keep in touch with them. They don't work with me anymore, but they are going to be always in my heart. And they know that. And that's the reason why this video is dedicated to them. OK, so now the first one will be how to find the right daycare. So now let's talk about just how to find them. OK. Finding the right daycare it might be a little bit hard, but there's many ways that you can, many places where you can put it. Like for example, I always put an ad on Facebook. I use Facebook for everything, marketplace, Craigslist, and also in the colleges. Why the colleges or universities? Why? Because they already have people who are learning child development. You want to get those students. You want people who is in this field. Now, there's another question here. Number, uh, letter B says, what to request from them? What do you request over the phone? Something that I always request is a resume, and I always request three work reference. But what happened if this person never worked before? So I always ask for friends, um, anybody who can write a letter, anything will really be helpful to know this person a little bit way more. Also, something that can really is so important is the experience and the requirements, and of course, the certificates. There is so many things that you can request. I always do all my interviews first uh, over the phone so the, or via email, and that's what they should be sending to me. The first thing I ask is you guys are going to see an example of how I requested. And let there be here, all this one, I'm going to be requesting in a post, and you're going to see in a second. Now, let her see. Here it says spread the word around the neighborhood. In the past 10 years, two of my neighbors were and are one of the, my, my best employees. So it's really important to keep in your community, find the people around you. Why? Because they, you already know them, you know where they live, you know their family. So I start with your neighbor first, and plus they are so close to you. Okay. So now finding a quality daycare uh, assistant. This is an example of my post and what I did, I just copy and paste it for you guys. And here, as you see, he's talking about a little bit about my daycare. He's talking about what I need or what this person is going to be in charge. And plus on the bottom is, is mentioning the requirements here. All the requirements and here on the bottom says, please send, please email me your resume and I will contact you. I don't like when they contact me first. I like contacting them because I will only contact them if they follow my direction, which is a resume. I need a resume because if this person is so organized and that's what I want, this person is going to send me a resume and the resume should have reference and should have all the things I'm requesting. Okay. How do you guys feel? Tell me out here on the bottom. How do you guys look for for um, child for child care assistance? I would like to know if you guys have better ideas. Please share here on the. You can share on the side too. I believe there's a chat, or you can share on the bottom in a comment below. You can let me know how do you guys find the right child care assistant. Okay, now. During the interview, the way how I do my interviews, the first one is after I get the resume, which is via email, I will call to the person or to the candidate or to the applicants. I will call them over the phone and I will ask them, hey, you know what, can I hear a little bit more about you? And I talk about if she can give me three reference, I ask the reference, certificates, any kind of like, child development classes that's where i request more and after i have a good feeling over the phone and um, keep in mind that i just did a video about first impression over the phone it's gonna depend how this person answers the phone because i'm already starting this person from the moment that she talks and she says hello to me so why because i need to find the right person for my child care this person is gonna be 
in charge working with my kids, with my children. So I want to make sure that she's the best. That's what I'm looking. And today I'm gonna help you to find the best with this video. Okay, so now the next one, after I'm done over the phone, I invite this person to come and normally the same day I invite many of them. So they know that I'm looking many. And what I do is I schedule them every 15 minutes. And I always have many applicants. I'm very picky when I choose somebody that's gonna work for me because this job is all about kids. So you have to take that in consideration. They are no books, they are no rocks, they are people. And for that reason, I'm very, uh, how can I say? I ask a lot of questions. Another question when I have the person in front of me, I want to know her more in a personal way. So I always ask them, tell me about yourself. Tell me about what you like to do. Tell me about your passion. Tell me about the people that inspire you. Those are the questions that I want to ask to the applicant. Why? Because I need to know her more about her values, who she really is. Then the next question that I ask is, when did she know that she wanted to work for a childcare? One time I remember one girl, she was so honest, she told me, I don't have neither idea that I want to go in a childcare, that I want to work in a childcare. And I was like, okay, you know what? I can also help you with that, I can guide you. So, and then, because I was also young at one point and I didn't have no idea what I wanted in my life. So the other question, and but then another child one, uh, another applicant one time she told me, when I asked her the question and she said, I wanted to be in the child, in the early child education since I started taking care of my uh, siblings. So I said, okay, she already has experience there. So did you see the moment that a new applicant tells you their story, little by little, you are gonna be taking notes or just memorize them. Then the other question that I asked them is, why would you like to work for us, why? I want to make sure that she did her homework. At least she checked my Facebook page. At least she checked my website. Because if she did, that means that she cares. And now if she didn't, I will let her know. I wouldn't want to know an answer because you don't want just to bring to anybody. You want to bring to somebody who is capable to represent you. So now in the next one, here is talking more about interview. There's another question as I ask, what would you like to be doing in five years? Why I want to know that so I can help this assistant to reach her goals. I'm here always coaching, not just childcare providers. I coach little children. I coach my employees. I coach many of my friends. That is something that I do. And that's something that is one of my biggest passion I have. And the last question is, when do you work to when do you start working when do you want to start working for me if i really like the person i ask her straight forward when do you want to start working when can you start so if she tells me monday at that moment i will keep ask her for all the requirements these are all the requirements this requirement doesn't include all the forms that we as a childcare provider need to submit doesn't include um, many of the documentation. It doesn't include my handbook, which is going to be for sale very soon. I also have my whole checklist. I have a lot of uh, checklists. It doesn't include also the payroll system, anything else. This one only rec uh, requires some of the things that I need this person to have it at that moment. And there is, after that, there's a second interview where I'm gonna be giving the new uh, assistant a whole employment package. That package is gonna be soon for sale. Um, as soon as everything is done, I'm gonna be sharing that information with you guys later on. It should be by next week. It's a lot of work. Um, putting together forms that is going to help you. Why? Because every different state, every different country, every different city, the laws are completely different. So what we are building is right now something that is going to help the majority 
of maybe all the childcare providers. Okay, so the next one, we already learned how to choose them, or like where to find them, uh, also how to interview them. And now that, to me, this is the most important, is how to choose the right teacher or the right assistant for your childcare. So here, um, here we are talking about experience. Choosing somebody with experience, to me, or like running a childcare, this is one of the best beginnings. Why? Because if this person already have an idea or has an idea on what to do or how the whole childcare industry is run, that she knows that every parent is going to come at different time, that we are going to have multiple different families, that we have to cook, that we have to clean, we have to change diapers, we have to be opening the door, we have to wash our hands. So there are so many things that if this person already has experience to me is it will be a piece of cake, but it doesn't mean that she will be also the best. Why? Because we need to find a balance. And why I say that is because the other option will be that this person needs to be friendly. Why I say that is because choosing somebody who is lovely, who is responsive, who really care about the kids and she doesn't have no problems going on the floor of whole kids like in our case we are always on the floor sometimes we are on our knees because we have to be always on the level of the child so in my in the morning just in the morning all our kids are from zero to four so we don't have bigger kids we are the biggest like i'm very short but for a child, I'm really big, so I'm always in the level. And it really is very exhausted to be on your knee and also on, on the floor all the time. It's I know it really hurts you back, but you have also to work smarter, no harder. Keep that in mind. Now, to be responsible. Responsible is something that I'm always looking. This person has to be mature. mature. This person has to be healthy. It, she has to have a great attitude about life and love. She needs to have great personal relationships and also interpersonal relationships with people around her and anybody. And especially because she's going to be working with me and other employees, I want to make sure that this person is going to be responsible about the job and have a great relationship with all of us. Now, the last I put why I put last education because to me you can have a great education. I have many times that um, here says somebody uh, finding this, somebody who goes to school in the field of child development will be a good candidate. But you guys can see I put good. I didn't put great. Why I say that because many times there is people with a degree with a bachelor and a master's degree. They came to my childcare trying to. To let me know how good they are, that they have honors, that yeah, they are honor students, that they have a bachelor and everything. And the moment that I ask them about a situation and how they can deal with that kind of situation in a childcare, they didn't have no idea. So just a paper saying that you have a bachelor in child development, it won't impress me. It will impress me experience, how friendly you are, how responsible, and if you have an education. Yes, you got a job. So all those things is something that we have to take in consideration. And it probably will be harder to find every, like somebody with all these values. But at the same time, this is for our business. So we have to make the right choice. Don't just go because you're desperate for whoever comes and asks you for work. Take your time. Make it a little bit difficult. Why? Because you find you want to find the right one and the right one is going to come to you. I had I'm so lucky because I had the best I had and I have the best daycare assistants. I feel proud of who they are. I have a lot of respect for them. That's why this video is dedicated to all of them. Let's continue. And let's talk about the final decision. And this is kind of like my conclusion. And after this video, after I'm done with my presentation, I'm gonna be answering questions. So if you guys have questions, 
this is only how to find. There is a lot of way more stuff that we can talk about just employees. Choosing the right employee for your childcare will determine the success of your business. And that is so true because if you just go for whoever comes and knock, knock in the door and asking you for work and this person doesn't have your values, it won't work. Now, when you are making a final decision, don't forget to go and check the entire package and go over each of these categories. Why? Because it's so important. In Spanish, I call this the three E's. Why the three E's? Because um, in Spanish, it's called, for example, elegir is like choosing. And then entrevistar is like interview. That's why it says the three E's. Power, this is what I was talking is about more about how to find, how to interview, and how to choose. That's what I meant with this. Now, the fact that one candidate has more certificates or training than the other one, it doesn't mean that she is the best option for you. You have to go more about values. To me, it's more about somebody who has values, she's going to have an ethic. Somebody who has values is going to have love for, for her job and for herself. Somebody who has values, it's going to be a whole package. Another very important thing, you want to find somebody who, who has a good speed. Because as you know, in, child, in the childcare business, we wear many hats. We are nurses, we are cooks, we are teachers, we are uh, cleaning, we are mapping, we do everything. So you want somebody who it's a little bit faster because if you have somebody who's slow, she will probably stress herself. Uh, but if you really like this person, I remember one time I had um, one of my assistants, she had all the values, but she was a little bit slow. So what I did, I just trained her. And now she's, well, no now, but at the end, she she became so good. I was so proud of her. So little by little, and then the most important is your mission. You want somebody who is gonna be representing who is your childcare. You need to have your pedagogy. You need to have your mission and your vision very clear. And if somebody who is going to work for you needs to understand what are your goals, needs to understand what is important to you and your business. And you need to share all that. That's why it's so important that you have all that established about what's your curriculum, what's your plan, what do you do, how you um, manage a problem, how is your routine. So she needs to be able to have that. And if this person shares the same mission than you, in my case, my mission is to serve bilingual uh, little kids. We want to make sure that those children are learning both or more languages. So when they go to school, they're gonna go for sure to bilingual school. The transition from preschool to kinder is gonna be so smooth. And that's my main goal. We prepare them for kinder and we want to make sure that they are going and they are learning and they are not just doing nothing. We want to make sure that they are always busy. But if your daycare assistant, she doesn't know all those things, it's gonna be hard for her to read your mind. You have to share all the information. But now keep in mind, I do, this is one of my biggest job right now that I'm doing with many of you already is coaching you, guiding you, how to find the right person, how to do your checklist, uh, or what are the documents that you need before you hire somebody. There's a lot of documentation, like for example, licensing forms. You also have to be part of a payroll company. You have to get your employment uh, identification. Uh, then, uh, you need to find trainings for your employee. There's a lot of things going on when you hire somebody. So if you're going to hire somebody, do it the right way. 
Now, if you really like this video, I recommend you to subscribe, like this video, and also click the notification bell. By liking this video, uh, it's going to tell me that you want to learn more about employees. Also, subscribe soon. I'm going to be having three uh, raffles when I reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm so close to my goals, and I'm very thankful for your support but at the same time a little bit sad when i found out that only 15 percent of the viewers from my channel already subscribed only 15. thank you to those people but how about the other 75 percent of my viewers they are not subscribing so it makes me sad but at the same time i'm so happy for those 15 percent and to those people, I wanted to thank them and I wanted to let them know that you guys are the reason why I have this channel and why every week I put and I reserve this time just for us. And for those 75% of viewers who just, they like to watch the videos, but they do not subscribe, you guys are gonna be missing many different things because when you subscribe, now you are part of a change. If you like this video, also don't forget to share with another provider. Another provider right now probably is exhausted, but she doesn't have the, this information. So this is the time that I that she needs, that she can help. This video can be helpful to her. Okay, now the last thing will be commenting. Let me know how do you hire somebody or how do you choose the right um, daycare assistant? And the last, don't forget to click the notification bell. If you need my help, these are all the topics and I can help you way more in anything related to childcare. Thank you guys for watching. There's a new video about breaking the news, one um, trillion new bill. This is a video that every parent and every childcare provider should watch it. I also have another video here. As you guys can see, this is all about Thanksgiving. I recommend you to watch this video so you can get ideas for next week. There are simple ideas that you can do. You can have fun. The kids can take different um, arts and crafts for next week. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have more questions, I recommend you to put below. I believe I answer all the questions. yeah i know this is a, it's a long day for me but i'm happy that i always have help because because of me and my bad health i really needed the help now every single time i'm sick or i need a vacation i'm able to do because i have somebody who i can trust i have somebody who has the same values as me i have somebody who i respect and i'm so blessed to have them otherwise i won't be able to be making this live video thanks to all my assistants from the bilingual learning center this video is dedicated just to you i hope you guys like this video so don't forget to watch breaking the news and next week i'm gonna be doing a live video on monday because of the thanksgiving i'm gonna be doing a live video on monday i'm gonna be having an expert in childcare insurance so that's something that I recommend you not to miss it. Why? Because it's so important to have an idea why it's so important to have childcare insurance. And Rafael Escalante is going to be with us this Monday, this coming up Monday at 3.30 Pacific Center time. So put your alarm and I'm going to see you guys next Monday. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.